Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. This week, I had the great pleasure of finding an old lecture from my business partner and founding member here at Earthworks, Jerry Brunetti. And those of you who know us uh, know the name Jerry Brunetti. He uh, was instrumental in making this company the success that it has been. And in this lecture at Acres USA from, I believe, the late 90s, Jerry is talking a little about um, how glomalin works and how mycorrhizae works and the importance of, of this whole process in the Krebs cycle uh, and in the development of ATP and very important in, in developing this, this very important, uh, what we call the energy molecule in phosphorus. And we know that mycorrhizae is extremely important and, and successful at finding phosphorus out of the soil and bringing it into uh, the plant. Take a listen to his conversation. The mycorrhizae has been talked about and still is being talked about across that wall. You're hearing a lot of discussions about the mycorrhizal on, this is mycorrhizal on grass plants. This is the fungal uh, inoculant or fungal symbiont that parasitizes beneficially 90% of the plant populations of the world. And this is where the rubber meets the road because the mycorrhizal is responsible ultimately for getting the mineral component of energy, which is phosphorus, up into the top of the plant so that the plant can then get involved with what's known as the Krebs energy cycle using that molecule called ATP, adenotriphosphate. So phosphorus is part of the molecule called ATP, and this guy is predominantly responsible for making sure that ATP is formed because it produces a compound or an enzyme called phosphatase enzyme, which fractures the marriage of calcium and phosphorus, iron and phosphorus, aluminum and phosphorus, releases the phosphorus so that it can migrate up into the, uh, into the plant, producing this wonderful molecule that allows that plant to continue its energy um, determinations of, of producing uh, ATP for the Krebs cycle. We're always excited to find old lectures of Jerry's uh, and just get revitalized by that whole experience and, and just hearing his voice talk about uh, the, the importance of, of all these biological functions in the soil. Um, Jerry coined the phrase biological soil management, uh, and he really taught us pretty much everything we know. Uh, he was instrumental in building our basic carbon fertilizers and the mineral-based fertilizers because he understood how this system worked. And hopefully uh, this little clip helped uh, bring some of that thought into your head as well. Thank you so much.